game had a very similar feel to yesterday. You guys had the opportunities to drive in some additional runs in both the third and the seventh, weren't able to get it done. How satisfying was it to drive in those two and see the rally come together in the eighth? So good. Just like you said, the rally come together. I think, you know, a key at bat during that thing. Obviously, Moose has a great hit, but Aggies walk. Aggie worked that count full, and he was able to get that walk to just, that's what we have to do. We have to do it as a team. You know, if I could have taken that walk earlier in the game, maybe we didn't need that big rally in the, in the eighth inning. But it's something that it, it felt really good, no matter how, how weak or how hard you hit it, it felt really good. Because of the success you guys have had putting together wins on last at-bats and your last innings, just how do you rely on that experience now in the postseason? I don't know that we rely on it until we get to that point. I think it's something we'd rather score six in the third. Um, but it's something that there's really there's no pressure in the at-bats. There's no pressure to to get the job done ahead of time. And it, you see you see what happens. You know, I, I, I chased out of the zone on that one. You know, maybe I let the moment get to me a little too much in the sense that I wanted to get the job done. But we just got to pass it along to the next guy. And that's how we've done it in all close games and in extra inning games all year. So it's nothing, it's kind of old hat for us. Eric, this pitching staff limited the Rockies to just two runs in the series. They came in averaging nearly five a game. How much credit does your pitching staff and you guys behind the plate deserve for how you shut down this offense? I mean, Manny, Manny put together an incredible blueprint last night, getting, I think, six or seven pitchers through that through the ten innings that we played. and. Each of those guys, it's kind of like our lineup. You know, they pass it along. Each of those guys, J.J. gave up two runs last night, comes in and throws two innings tonight. I mean, that, that's just, that's called picking your guys up. I mean, you can talk about all the numbers you want, but when a guy comes in and does that, when Walk, when Jack comes in and strikes out two guys in the big spot and Hayter threw two innings last night, I mean, it's just, it's, it's never ending. It's just nonstop, and these guys are not afraid to pound the zone, and they're not afraid to, come after these guys. How much did your starter exemplify that as well? Yolisha seen going on three days rest for the first time, pitching in the postseason for the first time, and delivers five scoreless innings. He's so much fun. He is. He loves the moment. He, I mean, he, he was on three days rest, like you said. And you can, some people can say, well, he needs more rest or whatever it is, but he came out there. It wasn't his best stuff. And I think he gave up, you said, three hits, three walks. It's... He, he, he set the tone. He set the tone for everybody. And everybody, went, when guys do that, when guys have good at-bats, when guys pitch well, and you know they might not have their best stuff, everybody wants everybody wants to be the next guy. And that, and that is something that we just feed off of. We feed off the energy in this crowd. And I know Jolice fed off the energy of the crowd. They were they they brought him up to, to another level when he didn't have his best stuff. Finally, Eric, what does it mean to this team to leave here with a 2 to nothing lead in the series as you head to Denver? You know what? You look back at the two games, and that's a positive, positive outcome. But we have, you know, we have one more game, and that's all we're going to play. We're going to play one more game, and you can't look ahead to how many games we have there because we got to play that first game. It's it's a boring answer, but we got to play that first game like we have.